This riff here is a series of short notes followed by longer notes. So short, and then longer, and short, longer, short, longer, short. Second fret, third fret, fourth fret of the E string. Second fret of the D string. Fourth fret of the A string open D string, second fret of the A string. Then it goes into this part with these pinches of the open D string with the G string. And the second fret there, two of those, and then followed by this bass note. And then another pinch. So, like that. one and then open D and G strings so from the beginning then another pinch but with the first fret of the G string so from the beginning string twice. So from the beginning. And then you hit that pinch again with the second fret of the G string from the beginning. a hammer onto the G string first fret from the open to the first fret then hit the treble E string quickly so from the beginning then you do this little transition so that's the fourth fret of the E string open A string first fret of the A string, and then right back into, but this time you can pinch all three strings, but then just continue on like the first cycle.
to start singing the verse, you just pinch those three strings, the A, the D, and the G, or the E7 sus4. And then you go down to the E7, but this time you start with uh, the open E string, something like that. So you can start singing the verse like this. That type of thing. And then do that first riff. So he's got Do this thing again. Continue. So when you're doing the verse, the E chord will end like this. Then the A chord. So when you go to the A chord, it's going to be a similar type of pattern where you start with the two pinches. This time it's the G and the B strings. And then you hit the D string on the second fret there. And then another pinch. And then hit the bass E string. So, and then open G and B strings. And then open G string, second fret of the B string. So at the end of this, you do a similar riff to this. So you do it over here though. You don't end on that note, you end on the bass E string. It's the same note, which is just an octave lower. And you go right back into that. So on the A string from the 2nd fret of the 4th fret, hit it and then slide, and then to the 2nd fret of the D string, back to the 4th fret of the A string, and an open D string, and then back into the E chord part. Since I can't do that cleanly, I'm just going to play it 